What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 46th XHT Mountain CSS tutorial and this, my friends, is a tutorial that all of you guys have been waiting for. In this lesson, I'm finally going to teach you guys how to take your website that you've been working on in your own, you know, maybe your bedroom or maybe at school and I'm going to teach you guys how to publish it on the world wide web. So finally, we are going global with this baby taking it out and making it so the entire world can see our creation. So let's go ahead, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and open google.com and the first thing we need to do is we need to find something called a web host or a web server. So in order for everyone to have access to our website, we just can't keep it on our computer because I mean I would hope no one else has access to your computer because if everyone in the world has access to that little dinky computer in your room then it would blow up in like three seconds so we need to take those web files and put them on something called a web server now a web server is kinda different than a regular desktop it is basically a computer or in other words a chunk of memory on the internet a chunk of memory that you can put web files on and everyone in the world has access to them so then if you put your web files on your computer no one else can see them besides you if you put your web files on a web server everyone in the world can see them so that is how websites are created you put them on special computers called web servers and the entire public has access to them so in order to find a good cheap company we have of course go to google cheap web hosting not hopsting hosting go ahead and press enter and just click the first link that comes up and these companies are changing all the time so it's good to get a review of which ones are the best but anyways um like hostgator i used that before that's a good one in motion that's a good one too um host monster that's the one i'm using right now that's a good one as well but anyways here are a huge list of companies that offer really cheap web hosting for example it could be as low as like you know two bucks a month to host the website so for example go ahead and go to one of these companies I'm gonna go ahead and use host monster because I actually bought a domain a long time ago slackroom.com and um, you know I never used it or anything I just bought it when I was being stupid I was younger and anyways the process is this you go to one of these websites and you type in first of all you gotta go ahead and click get started or something and you go ahead and you type in what website you want and most of the time they're already taken but go ahead and type in like Tom's chatroom.com or Dave's blog.com whatever you want give me your credit card information and bam you own the website that is your domain name no one else can have it of course you can't like buy myspace or anything.com so anyways so now you own the website and you're back at this location right here what the heck are you supposed to do from here? Well, from here, they give you a place to log into your account. And, of course, they give you your domain name right here and a password that you would have chosen whenever you first bought the account. So, I'm going to enter my password right there, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you log in, they take you to this thing called cPanel. Now, cPanel is where you manage everything that can go on with your website. Now, like 99% of these things, you will never click. Most of this stuff is for web programming, um, if you want to buy more stuff, email accounts. But what we're focusing on is something called FTP. Now, FTP is the process, it's called File Transfer protocol and your button might be a little different but my button is right here unlimited FTP so go ahead and click that and a program is gonna open up that looks a lot like this there are a bunch of different FTP programs but this one is probably the most popular and the concept is this this is your computer right here and this is the web server and what we need to do is we need to take the files from over on our computer and transfer them to the web server now we just can't start clicking buttons we need to do this in a very specific way now the files that the public has access to are going to be stored in a folder called public HTML and check it out if you double click that you already have a bunch of files in there by default probably these are pretty much the error files and they might have gave you a default um, HTML file so let's go ahead and go to slackroom.com and check it out 
see this is the default home page they give you because you know you bought the website um, they just wanted to give you something to stick up there make you buy a bunch of ads but what we want to do is we want to put our home page that we made on this domain because we paid good money for it so let's get our documents on there so anyways all of your files are going to go in this public HTML folder so how do you move your files from your computer over to there or well, first of all go ahead and where did you store your files? Mine were on my desktop in a folder called all, XT all XHTML. And again, another thing I want to point out is make sure that your file is named index.html. By default, whenever a browser goes to the website, they're going to scroll through this public HTML folder and they're going to look for a file that says index.html. That's why it was so crucial to name it index.html. If there's no index.html file, then it's going to say, you know, website does not exist or something like that. So make sure that you have at least one web page named index.html. This is going to be your home page. So anyways, all you have to do is select that index.html file and press this upload selected files button or the right button. This transfers the file from your computer to the web server. And now your file, check it out, is on the web server. So you pretty much moved it from your computer to the web server. Easy enough. So now once you go ahead and go to slackroom.com, let me refresh this. Oh yeah, that's my website, baby. OMG, I am live on the internet. So this is actually a real website that I just went to. Now anyone in the world can go to slackroom.com, press enter, and check it out. My website pops up. And again, I only uploaded one web page, but that is how you upload entire websites to the web server. So it's pretty simple. And then again, anytime you want to update your website, just go ahead in your text editor, um, change your index.html file and then come back in here upload it again it says do you want to overwrite it yes it uploads it again and it would be changed so anyways that is the basics of how you take a website that you created on your computer and upload it so the world can see again a couple of these things might be different um, there are different types of cPanels different versions this FTP right here um, this is the most common one, but there are different type of FTPs, but they're all basically the same. That's the main concept behind the entire internet, putting files on web servers so everyone has access to it. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys for now, and that basically sums up web development and all the basics that we need to cover. So maybe I'll make like um, an example website, but for the most part, you guys now know how to make a basic website and publish it on the internet pretty cool huh so you know if you watch all these tutorials it only took you a couple hours and look how much you learn so from now or from here rather I would recommend that you learn a language called JavaScript JavaScript is how you make web pages smarter more interactive more fun or what I would recommend is learning a language called PHP. If you want to build games and social networking sites, then PHP is an awesome start. But for now, again, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me in these tutorials. You have no idea how much these views mean to me. I love making these tutorials. So lastly, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully in future tutorials.